Did you know Thanos is a stunner under that wrinkled chin and eggplant complexion? How about his horned warrior disciple Proxima Midnight, played by the beautiful Carrie Coon? The MCU's villain roster is full of tens just like them. Here are the Marvel movie villains who are gorgeous in real life. Josh Brolin To become Thanos the Mad Titan for Avengers Infinity War, Josh Brolin had to sport a motion capture suit, while the character's violet visage was added in by the visual effects team. Certain parts of the actor's appearance did make it through to the big screen, like the shape of his eyes, nose, and mouth. However, unlike Thanos, Brolin doesn't have a gigantic chin, a bald head, purple skin, or a ridiculously imposing stature. There were actually a lot of moviegoers who found the existence snapping alien to be attractive, but Thanos can't hold a candle to the actor who portrays him when it comes to his hunk factor. Brolin has traditionally handsome features like a square jaw and healthy bone structure. He's usually known for playing gritty characters, but he was also the romantic lead alongside Kate Winslet in Labor Day. Kate Blanchett as monstrous as she was in Thor Ragnarok, there was no denying that Hela, the goddess of death, was working it with that goth getup. She even made those giant antlers look good when she strolled into Asgard to claim her place on the throne and destroy anyone who stood in her way. However, she's got nothing on the actress who portrayed her, Kate Blanchett. The Oscar winner usually sports a blonde bob and has very fair features and strong cheekbones. Altogether, she is one striking human being. Although she has distanced herself from the pursuit of perfection that some of her peers have felt pressured into, her beauty has been helpful in landing her both film roles and brand ambassador gigs. Speaking about her approach to beauty, she told The Cut, I just try to look the best I can at whatever age I am. Lee Pace Fans would be forgiven for not recognizing Lee Pace underneath all the blue and black facial makeup he wore to become Ronan, the accuser for Guardians of the Galaxy. The Golden Globe-nominated actor's mug was thoroughly concealed by those thick cosmetics. On top of that, his costume was fitted with a cloaking headpiece and bulky armor that allowed him to completely disappear into the role of the Kree warrior. It's not the first time the actor has been rendered unrecognizable in a major movie role. In 2003's Soldier's Girl, he suited up in women's clothing to become the showgirl Calpurnia. He also covered up his signature shaggy brown do and ordinary human ears with a white blonde wig and elf points for Peter Jackson's Hobbit trilogy. His turn as Thanos' dubious deputy, however, was arguably the role that made him look the least like himself on screen. Green. Carrie Coon Shortly before Carrie Coon joined Thanos' goon squad for Avengers Infinity War, the actress was riding a career high. She was coming off back-to-back -back celebrated small-screen roles in HBO's The Leftovers and Fargo Season 3, the latter of which earned her a primetime Emmy nomination. It was quite a surprise then when Coon was chosen to make her MCU debut as Proxima Midnight, a part which largely covered up her increasingly famous face. Coon's role was shot using voiceover and motion capture technology of her facial expressions so that animators could then add in the character gray skin, navy eye mask effect, blue hair and horns in post. The actress later admitted that completing the work felt lonelier than what she was used to doing, but she's since made light of how unidentifiable she is on screen. On Twitter, she joked, To be fair, my face is in there somewhere. Mass Mickelson Danish actor Mass Mikkelsen had a really big year in 2016. Coming off his beloved TV turn as the title cannibal psychiatrist in Hannibal, he starred in two franchise films back-to-back, -back, Doctor Strange and Rogue One A Star Wars Story. The latter would allow him to appear mostly true to his real-life form, but to become Cassilius for the MCU, he had to submit to some serious makeup that created a purple and gray raccoon mask effect to signify his allegiance to Dormammu in the Dark Dimension. If that didn't undermine his rugged good looks quite enough, there was also the matter of his long, faux silver ponytail that aged him up quite a bit. In reality, though, Mickelson is indelibly easy on the eyes and was even chosen to model for several of Marco Polo's fashion campaigns. In other words, while the actor is more than happy to keep suiting up for whatever villainous roles the Western world has to offer him, he could just as easily pass for the handsome hero. Elizabeth Debicki Becoming Aisha, the golden high priestess of the Sovereign in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 was no easy feat for Elizabeth Debicki. To achieve the look of being completely made of gold, the actress had to submit to a very unusual makeup regimen. She told ComicBook.com, They built a sort of car wash where I sat. There was a lot of paint and a lot of sitting around and drying. It's quite an intimate process. Although she looked like a living trophy as a result of this transformation, the actress is more like a runway supermodel in real life. While she's relatively new to the industry, fans have already gotten to see her in more realistic form in films like The Great Gatsby, The Man from Uncle, Everest, and The Cloverfield Paradox. 
Her statuesque silhouette and arrestingly beautiful face had audiences especially captivated during her starring role in the spy miniseries The Night Manager alongside Loki himself, Tom Hiddleston.